Hello guys. Hi, my name is Vidit. Hope you are doing well. Uh, this is my fourth video today. So before it, we discussed about uh, how can we create topic, Kafka topic, producer and consumers, and uh, what is the benefit of partitions. We will move ahead today with the uh, uh, new new thing is uh, consumer groups. So let's see how uh, we can use the consumer groups those commands further we can know about it so let's start so our zookeeper is running our server is also running it's a broker id zero which is set inside the server dot properties and uh, in the last video we created two groups so let's check how many groups we have so we'll write kafka console kafka consumer groups dot message and bootstrap server we have to give and the port number on which port the server is running and uh, we are just writing list. Yes, let's check it. Okay, there's some thing we have missed. So local host nine zero nine two, and right, this would be a space here. Okay, you can see uh, there are two groups we have A and B. So let's check any of the group. Um, let's try the same command. Let's type here group A and let's describe this. okay so it's coming here group consumer group a has no active member because this group is currently not active to receive the messages and that's why there is no consumer id coming here no host and no client id and if you little go on left side we can see current offset offset and log and offset and leg leg this was something I was discussing uh, in my last video, so we can understand it now. So current offset, it's mean uh, what is the last message offset number? Okay. So as we have two partition, when we define this topic, so we have a uh, number of uh, number five offset in partition zero, and number six offset in partition one. Okay and uh, log and offsets equal to same that's mean those messages uh, have been already subscribed by the consumer this group a right and if you minus this 5 minus 5 equal to 0 and 6 minus 6 equal to 0 that's mean nothing is in pending nothing is in queue so everything is being committed read okay yeah so if you uh, let's suppose if you run a command let's kafka console consumer.sh and you are giving let's have another window let's not use this window okay we have this window here yes i have this command here kafka console consumer bootstrap server localhost 9092 we have to choose a topic because this group a is basically with this topic my topic right so once you uh, enter here that's mean its group is 
this group A is active now. Okay. And if you try to run the same command, the describe command, and if you put enter, then you can see it will show you like uh, now it has a active customer ID, which is just a unique ID created by Kafka. And uh, here you can see like my topic consumer A1. They, he, it is giving and this is the host which is a local host basically 127.0.0.1 okay let's uh, uh, see these things now uh, I mean let's understand it now how we can uh, uh, more understand these offsets thing how we can reset those and I'm giving you an example like uh, Again, I will I would give the same example like uh, if you have you are watching a video and If you want to recap it if you want to watch something again If you miss something in between so what you do you move back forward <coughs> You move back actually backward, okay, and you see that scene again so that's mean you reset something and uh, Again watch the same thing so in this scenario as you can see there are total six messages uh, or six plus five equal to oh, sorry five plus six eleven messages part partition zero having five messages partition one having the six messages total eleven messages okay so there is no lag here that's mean this consumer a already read those messages and if this consumer say no no i want to read those again or i want to read those consumer from any particular offset that's possible so i am giving you some example which is again with the real life okay and where this kafka comes in the picture okay that is the use case okay we'll discuss about let's check uh, kafka consumer uh groups dot sh first what options are available here and as you can see here uh, like we have bootstrap server which mandatory to give delete offset describe command execute offsets reset offset we'll use those shipped by I mean how much number we, can, we have to give some number here how much you want to shift to the reset or you want to set on any offset there is a you go up little there's two offsets okay let's try those let's clear this and let's give those what is strip server localhost 9092 and then let's give the topic so my topic name is my topic and the group is group A and let's use the reset offsets and as we know like uh, this group is already active and there is nothing to read this time because uh, all the messages have already been read okay so let's uh, so that time it is required like there is no lag so it is required to reset the offset so this group can read the messages again if this is a requirement okay so let's here to earliest and let's execute it okay now there is a valid uh, error here this group is inactive 
you can only perform the reset command when this group is inactive but the current state is stable okay so let's go to that window and let's just control c and we stopped that group okay let's uh, try it i'm missing something here to earliest we need to dash here okay let's execute it and this has been executed now new offset has been reset to zero so now if you go here and if you run this command so let's see what we get so here you can see like the we are get we got all the messages from a starting right and uh, if you try um, if you just use the describe command this time as per the above uh, new offsets are zero but now again there is no lag and uh, as you can see like uh, uh, the current offset and the log end offsets are equal because this group again has read all the messages okay we can uh, use uh, just like two earliest we have so we can use shift by in the same way shift by and after that we have to give the number how much number you want to give here i mean how much you want to be shifted let's suppose minus two and if you execute it i think we have to first uh, need to inactive it let's inactive this and let's use shift by now so the new offset is now three and four if you run a describe command you can see more okay now you can see the current offset i mean that until this group a has read the messages are three and four and uh, but the log end is five and six okay so if you minus this five minus three equal to two two are unread messages and six minus four equal to two again the two are unread the total four messages are unread this time and uh, if you go here and again active this group a so you will get you are getting total four messages right one two three four again let's use the describe lag should be zero this time okay i think this is the best thing i believe yeah like you got to know now what is the mean of the lag offsets thing we have many other options like uh, as i use this simple command kafka consumer groups dot sh we can provide the date time and other things also so in real life scenario you can think like uh, we use these scenarios whenever we do require to uh, fetch the previous data or in a streaming if you want to uh, move backward and watch something again or 
if you need to read some messages again then in those scenario we use those so these those are the use cases for that okay furthermore uh, you can try uh, these commands at your system uh, in this video we learn like uh, what is the consumer groups how we can reset the offsets and how we can achieve the uh, already read messages and uh, in further message uh, further video in my next so guys in my next video i will try to show you how we can use uh, because this time we have only one broker which is running on 9092 ports but in real life example this would not be one broker the time it would be it would be more than one right it would be three five or seven in some odd numbers uh, we have this an odd number because this is required like uh, there is a formula like n plus one divided by two server must be in active just like if you think uh, if you have only one broker let's suppose and in in any case that broker is not working in some scenario that's mean your uh, kafka setup is failed that time right so that should not happen so that's mean if you have more than one broker if one fail in case then another one would be uh, available to uh, grab the messages or to active the things like so consumer can continuously subscribe those things right so this time we have only one port 9092 so I, I i try i will try to explain like if we have a multiple broker so not like uh, i will i would have a multiple server but i will have uh, multiple ports okay so i will have 9092 93 and 94 and we'll show you in case if any broker is offline and other two or other one is available online and uh, if you come back uh, with that uh, broker let's suppose 9092 is offline 9093 is available once you once any once this 9092 is up so any consumer come with uh, 9092 that's mean that uh, uh, the kafka broker behind works uh, like uh, the data whatever the messages has uh, have been published all are in sync so you can fetch those whenever the inactive server is available in active format so we will uh, learn those things so this is my request please like and subscribe my videos thank you so much we'll meet in the next video now thank you